Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, a new song creation app from Korg. Let's get started. Our app today is Korg's Gadget. Now, Gadget is a complete song creation environment that comes with 15 different instruments that you can put together using a step sequencer that's built in, as well as an onboard mixer. Then you can export your song to different audio file formats or up to the cloud if you like when you're finished. It's very easy to use, very fast to create music with Gadget. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll create a new song. Then we have a choice of any of the instruments that we want to load in here. Let's begin by loading up a, a drum synthesizer. There are several different ones on board. Down here is where our instruments load in. We can click on that and it will open up and allow us to both work with the sounds that are on board. Here we can select the sounds that are loaded. We can also uh, tune those, we can pan them, we can add effects to those. There's an effects screen here where we can do master effects or individual effects. There's also a mixer here where we can pan, we can set the levels for things. So we have complete control over the instruments. When we load a synthesizer, we can edit all the sounds that are in there if we have a bass synthesizer. So lots of capability for shaping the sounds exactly as you want. And you can save those sounds on board and use them again in other songs if you like. So once you've loaded up the sounds that you want to hear, we have a grid up here where we can start using those sounds to create music. So this is a drum synthesizer, so we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, kick and the snare in here. And we can play that back. We can add in a hi-hat. So we can get the beat exactly the way we want it. When we step back here, it's very easy to add another track. We simply click on the track button and we have our choice again of adding another sound in. We can choose the Chicago bass synthesizer. Open that up by clicking on it. Once we do, we have control over the sound that's loaded. We can uh, go to a different sound if we like. Let's go to uh, this one. Chop bass. All right, we'll use that one. Then we can go ahead and sequence that as well. So we can draw in our notes. We can edit those very easily. Simply click and drag on them with your finger. So we have a lot of control for setting our bass. We've probably got our pitches too high here for a true bass track, but we can go ahead and select all of our notes. Just draw over them. And then we have the option to transpose down. Using this key here, we can also work with the velocity for the notes, so we can increase those or decrease those. We can do it on a per note basis, or on the whole track basis, as we're doing here. And then when we listen back to this, we should be getting more into the bass range. So very easy to create music using this. We can pop back over here to our arrange screen again. We can add more tracks, we can also add additional parts to our arrangement, and we can work with that as well. We have a function key here, and with the function key we can duplicate what we've done in one of the earlier uh, tracks that are available here. So if we click duplicate, it'll come right back in with exactly what we had there. We can duplicate this one, we can choose to delete this one, and we can choose to do that on a per track basis, or we can do it for the whole arrangement. So we could be working just with this one section here, click our function button, and we can choose to clear that, we can choose to duplicate that, we can set the number of the bars that are in that particular loop, we can play it once or we can loop it, we can mute it for that particular pass of the track. So lots of capability for setting up a very quick arrangement that lets us put our song together in a very easy fashion. Now we can continue building our song from here, we could add additional tracks to that, we could add additional parts to our arrangement so we can select more instruments, and again we have a choice of 15 different instruments there, all sorts of different things. Here's a monophonic semi-modular, monophonic wobble synthesizer, an advanced spatial digital synthesizer. So lots of different options there for creating the sounds that you want. 
all kinds of different things there, a couple different drum machines, bass synthesizers, lots of choices. Now once you've finished with your song, we can click up here, we can save it under whatever name that we like. You can also choose to export it. You can export to Gadget Cloud, which is a proprietary cloud where you can upload your songs and other gadget users can listen to them. You can export as an audio file, you can export straight into Dropbox, or you can do an audio copy and use it in other apps as well. I've really been having a lot of fun using Korg's Gadget. It's so fast to create music, it's so intuitive, you really don't have to read the manual at all, you'll be up and running in just a couple of seconds. This is a really cool app, it's a lot of fun to create music with it. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS Update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, more hardware accessories, and tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.